Computer programs would be pretty boring if a user could never give them any information and if they never told the user anything. In this video, we will learn how to get data from the user, as well as how to output results. Let's start with output. If you watched the Hello World video, you will be familiar with the print statement. We can use this statement to print text and variables to the user. I'll print the message, how are you doing today? If I save and run this program, you will see the output, how are you doing today? Now, what if I want the user to be able to answer my question? To accept input, we can use the keyword input and store whatever the user types in a variable. I'll create a variable called mood and set it equal to what the user inputs. How are you doing today? Now, if we run our program, the same question is output to the user, except this time we are able to answer it. Let's type great because I'm feeling pretty good right now. Well, it seems our program has finished running. We have accepted the input and stored it in the variable mood, but we aren't doing anything with it yet. Let's go ahead and print a message so the user knows we've received their input. Print, I'm glad you are feeling, and then underneath, will print their mood. If I save this and run the program, I can input great. And now we get the output, I'm glad you're feeling, and then great, which was stored in the variable mood. Now, what if instead of text, we want to give our program a number? Let's write a small program that takes in two numbers and multiplies them together. I'll create a variable called num1 and prompt the user to enter the first number. I'll create another variable called num2 and ask the user for the second number. Then I'll print your numbers added together are And then we'll add the two variables together using a plus sign and print the result. Let's run this and see what we get. I'll enter two as my first number and four as my second number. Well, we got 24, which isn't quite what we were expecting. That's because Python is treating our two and our four as strings of text. They are being added to each other as if they are text rather than combining as numbers would. We can tell Python to change the type of our input from strings to integer numbers. We can do this using the int keyword. If I wrap each input in int, let's see what happens. I'll wrap the first input in int and parentheses as well as the second input. I'll enter two and four again, and this time we get six, which is just what we wanted. So remember, when you want the user to input a number, always wrap the input in int. In a future video, we will learn more about this plus sign, as well as other operations we can perform on variables.